My heart has been defective since birth. And unfortunately, I didn't know right away. But thankful that having an amazing doctor figured it all out. I have cardiomyopathy and hypertension. I tell my kids that only at one point, only 10% of my heart worked. And that was because parts of my heart had unfortunately died. And now they're coming back to life and it's moving and it beats and it beats hard and it's awesome. With the stage of heart failure that I've experienced with the issues that I've had with my heart, if it wasn't for University of Maryland, there would be no me. Uh, the advances in technology and how the doctors stay upon new medicines and new trends and making sure that you have the best of both worlds, that's something that I don't feel that every hospital is able to deliver. And university hits it every single time. Over the last nine years, I have encountered numerous amounts of heart failure. Some have been more serious than others. But one thing that never changed was their effectiveness of making sure that I came home to my babies. And I know that a lot of people can identify with me that that's the main thing that we want to get home to. And when you're scared and things are just going crazy and the machines are going off and you don't really understand, having someone that's telling you exactly what you need, giving you your meds, treating you like a human being, it's, it's no other words that you can say. Thank you is not even enough. My time at University of Maryland, each and every single time, whether it's been by ambulance or ER or just on the cardiac floor, from the time that I walked in, I felt safe. And there's no amount of words that can compare to knowing that this is not home, but this is like my second home. And I know that this is gonna get me home to my babies. Thank you.